One of my all-time favorite metal bands is Sepultura from Brazil. And when I got the opportunity to interview the lead singer, Max Cavalera, way back in 2006 for Global Metal, it was amazing because after the interview, he invited me to his home in Phoenix, which was the furthest place you could possibly imagine from Brazil. And what I realized watching the interview now is that here's a guy from Belo Horizonte in Brazil and me from a town in Western Canada, and we grew up loving the exact same music. How then, how did you discover metal music for the first time? Like, do you remember the first, the first band or the first record? We always, you know, we had Iron Maiden and everything, and we love it, you know, definitely. Uh, you know, me and Igor ordered like shirts that was all the way to our knees, when they, could, they only had extra large. And we still wear them, you know, everybody like make fun of us, you know, we didn't care, it's, it's all good, you know, we love, we love the bands and we went to, I went to Sao Paulo and then I went walking to Woodstock. The guy, you know, he knew me, Val Seer, and he's like, hey Max, come here, we got this stuff just came in and it was like, I remember, man, it was Voivod, War and Pain, uh, Slayer, Show No Mercy, uh, Venom, Black Metal, and I, I, I fucking looking at these album covers going, wow, what the? What the fuck is this, man? You know, I like it already. I haven't even heard anything. I'm already like hooked. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, well, wait. Then he like put the vinyl, play like Evil Has No Mercy. Or, and I'm just like freaking out inside my head. Like, I can't wait to go home with this album and play it to my friends because they're, they're going to shit their parents, you know? <laughs> I knew, I knew it was good. I knew it was insane and it was extreme and we haven't heard that before. Nobody has heard that. So I, you know, went back to, to Bello and yeah, play those. And I remember uh, yeah, the Slayer one was Hot in the Chapel, the EP. Uh, we played and we thought for sure the turntable was broke. We found out that that wasn't the turntable, it was Slayer and that's how they play. <laughs> so that was great. And it was funny because I, I, we also discovered punk at the same time, you know, Discharge, mm -hmm. Hellhammer, Slayer yeah. together, you know. Yeah. So there was no division in my head between punk and metal, you know, I like both. but. You know, we learned later that those things don't really combine and, you know, the punks don't like metal the other way around, you know, but for us, we like both a lot. You know, obviously a lot of your early lyrics were, were pretty, pretty rebellious and pretty angry. I mean, what were you wanting to sing about back then? The very early stuff, it was all completely ripped off from somebody else. Um, you know, Bastard Devastation, I think, is Destruction and Celtic Frost put together, you know, from two other albums, we just put two names together. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Necromancer was kind of like that. Um, so, yeah, you know, we speak Port, we don't speak English, so I was the one that speak a little more English than the other guys, and I was doing um, translation from dictionary to Portuguese to English and then making the song so there's a lot of like bad mistakes on those records like like you know lyrics mistakes which I think is great I really think that's really cool that we didn't change we didn't knew and we named songs like uh, the past reborn the storms which makes no sense in English you know later like Monty be like I think you guys should change the title of the song because you put all the words wrong you know so he, he tells how to <laughs> so I think we fixed that one but Everything else was just dictionary shit, man, you know, like, just, yeah. I learned English like that. I, yeah. I went to, to English school maybe twice in the school and I learned just a little bit, but my English came from dictionary and Black Sabbath albums, translating everything. I want to know what those guys were saying. Yeah. So I spent hours and hours with the dictionary in my, you know, in my room translating, in, including the name Sepultura. It's, it comes from Motorhead, uh, Dancing on Your Grave song. Yeah. So, so that was cool, you know, that was actually, uh, Educational. I mean, do you think that metal has lost its 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 roots in a way? I think metal is never gonna die because that's the spirit. You know, the spirit of, uh, of you can do something with three chords, one guitar, and you know, it's like the rock spirit actually. You know, and I always thought I don't know who said that, but I think like metal is the uh, the bastard son of rock, and yeah, you know, like the. Metal is like the fucked up. Rock and roll had a bunch of sons, and then 
the most fucked up one was Mato, <laughs> and his brother was probably punk. <laughs> but the spirit is always going to survive, I think. But there'll be trends, and it's going to go more popular, less popular. But uh, I think that the bands and musician fans know that, and and uh, don't get caught up on it, you know. What is it about metal that you think that all of these people, the kids in Indonesia, the kids in Japan, Brazil, and so on, what is it that they find through this music? Well, I think if we knew, we kind of lose interest, <laughs> you know, exactly. So it's kind of a search, which I think I think is like why I like it, because I really don't know what it is. I just know I like it. I don't know why, you know. Why does my son already love metal so much? It's something, man, it's like inside of you, you know, in your heart, blood, pumping, who knows? Maybe it goes back like centuries when you're a Viking and shit, you know? <laughs> I even believe that. Maybe it was, we're like Vikings and shit, that's why we like metal, because you got that vibe, that crazy, you know, aggressive vibe. I don't know what it is, but um, it's definitely like the, the thing that you have is yours. The goosebump, it's something you, it's yours, you treasure, you know, you share, but it's also yours, you know, when, whenever you want it, it's there for you. Everything in life is not secure, but music, it's there anytime you want. So it's an instinct that people from all these different places, I guess, are connecting to. I think, and then we see people come and go, you know, like 90% of my friends that grow up, they couldn't deal with the metal thing. <laughs> they came in for a little bit. Fuck this shit, man, you know? I need a real job and blah, 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 you know? And the outside looks real fun to be in a band and all that shit. And I think there is a great moment, but it's fucked up as hell to be in a band. <laughs> you know, everything is chaotic and upside down and family life is much more difficult. Um, we are very dysfunctional, like, because of the way it is, you know? Like, you can't be a normal human being and being in a band. I don't think it works, man. It doesn't work. You know, that's why we are, you know, schizophrenic. You know, I am all those things that people say. Yes, definitely. You know, because it's without that, I couldn't be Max. <laughs> you know, there's no way to really separate them. You know, it's all kind of together, you know, but I wouldn't be anything else, man. This is this is what I like, you know, chaos. You need the chaos element. <laughs>